Okay, this is take three, interracial love, Heidi Klum's secret. Hey, do you remember this? Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never harm me. In the schoolyard, this may be true, but as we venture into the real world, I have to wonder if words can actually break other things. Well, people in interracial relationships draw more than their fair share of negative reactions for many, many reasons. In my ebook, I Love Interracial Love, What Heidi Klum Can Teach You About Big, Bold, and Black Love, I will tell you the story of Ruby an Asian-American woman happily married to a nice Jewish boy named Sam. Although they live in a large cosmopolitan city, they still draw their fair share of negative reactions. One day as they are out and about, Ruby suddenly finds herself the unexpected target of someone's hate simply because of her mixed love. Interracial relationships make people say the craziest things. Whether or not you are in a schoolyard or out in your world, you really need something to come back with when this happens to you. When you are with someone who's different from a different race or culture, it is always frustrating and a challenge when other people don't accept or want to deal with it. You feel like you've hit a wall of prejudice. You wonder if it's always going to be like this. How can you not feel hurt and rejected? And then add to that the possibility that the most negative reactions might actually come from the ones you love, your family, it's enough to make you want to smash a pumpkin. In my ebook, I talk about how a famous celebrity interracial couple rock their mixed love. They do three things that you can do that can turn every opportunity or every confrontation into an opportunity to win people over and change the world. Sticks and stones just don't cut it. Here's how it worked for Ruby. Know who you are. Ignore what people are saying about you. They don't know you. Their negative comments are really their reaction to their own fear of something that they don't understand or want to deal with. Your mixed love. Why give a stranger the power to tell you who you are? One thing I talk about in my book is how Heidi Klum and Seal chose to position their high-profile celebrity interracial romance smack in the public eye, which not only drew attention to their mixed-race love, it also was a lightning rod for all kinds of reactions from people. Haters are people who want to bring you down and make themselves feel better about themselves. Ruby knew the best thing to do was to remember that of all the women in the world, Sam chose her. She was a woman worth loving. And that was enough to give her the confidence she needed to do the next thing, which is to speak their language. Understanding the reasons behind what someone is saying is key to how to respond. I talk about that in my book. The names that they had for each other, the Yiddish expression Ruby uses as strategy for street hate. Add to that the physical affirmation, the hugs, the closeness between each other, and this combination will be a subtle yet powerful psychological change to work in your favor. Work the crowd. Just because you are the center of a negative attack doesn't mean that you have to remain the victim. The biggest mistake you can make when you are caught by surprise in this situation is not to invite the support of the crowd. People love to root for the underdog. Heidi and Seal threw an over-the-top celebration of their vows every year, making a megawatt statement of their relationship to the world. They are creatures of celebrity and intuitively understand how to work a crowd. How could you do this? Well, I would start by giving people something to get behind. Show everyone your commitment to each other. Give each other a big kiss, a hug. Slowly intertwine your fingers together and hold hands. Look like a couple in love all the time. Haters hate that. Emerge with your dignity intact, the roar of the crowd cheering you on, and leave the haters howling in the wake of your departure. So that's the secret. Know who you are. Speak the language. Work the crowd. And if you really want to rock this secret, do this over and over and over again. 
This will help you find the happiness in your own interracial relationship. And there you have it. Be better at fighting haters by being better lovers. But wait, there's more. Do you know what the two and only two forms of communication are and how to respond? What did Ruby say that gave her the psychological advantage over her verbal attacker? Want to know the Yiddish phrase Ruby learned from her Jewish mother-in-law that turned the crowd into roaring fans? Here's where you can find the answers to these questions and learn how to create happiness in an interracial relationship through my free I Love Interracial Love Sexy Six Pack video series. I believe the secret to happiness in an interracial love can be learned by anyone who truly wants to. But many of the keys to doing this and making this happen are rarely logical or obvious. In fact, many of them are counterintuitive. This video series will show you what you need to have a happy and successful interracial romance and immediately change your family and friends perception of your relationship. Check out the details and get other great free stuff at iloveinteracialove.com. Do you want a unique celebrity perspective of these concepts? Download the first chapter of my ebook, I Love Interracial Love, What Heidi Klum Can Teach Us About Big Bold and Black Love, and you could be reading it in minutes. Get yourself more I Love, share it. Thanks for being in the mix.